Now I'm going to use a um, couple drops of House of Color Pig in Gold. And I'm just hitting the um, highlight areas. Now I'm going to go back over some of the red areas with some candy tangerine from House of Color. And, uh, Blend it back in. I'm going to kill some of the yellow a little bit. Now a little bit of house color. Candy apple red. I'm going to do up on the tips here a little bit. Now blend it in a little more. Got it all unmasked now. Now we're going to go in and uh, start doing a ton of detail. We're going to do some shadowing and highlights. And I'm actually probably going to mask off the uh, skull and put a red glow around it. What I've done up to this point is I went ahead and uh, clear coated it and then sanded it back down. Now I'm going back in with white and I'm going to highlight some of the areas. Now with black, I'm going to go back in and, and clean up some of the lines and shadow a little bit more. Where I did the shadow away from it makes it look like the legs standing up a little bit more. Now I'll shadow the tail here. Now I'm going to take some clear transfer tape that you can buy at coastairbrush.com and uh, I'm going to apply it over top of this and what it's going to do is I'm going to cover up my design that I've got going and then from that point I'm going to cut it out and then I'm going to do a red glow around the whole outside. Try to lay it as smooth as you can. You have to cut some pieces off and splice them in, but this works awesome. I'm going to also cut in around where the black in the back part of his head, and I'll do the red glow in there also. But I'm going to use a razor blade. You can use an exacto knife, it's easier for you. And then just we're going to trim everything out. I'm going to show you guys something here. If you have these wrinkles like this, what you're going to have, you can't get rid of all of them. Very, 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 very carefully take a razor blade, lay it down sideways without touching the surface, and just cut the top of that bubble a little bit. Just hook it in there. Just slice the top of it like that. And then push it back down. 
and the one piece overlays the other one, you might have to come out and trim the edge once in a while. For the most part, you usually don't. This is, like I say, I can't even stress enough how careful you have to be to do this. Because you can't touch the surface. But you can push it down like that, and it takes the wrinkles out. You don't got to worry about overspray under there because the one piece overlaps because that's why there is a bubble because there's too much material right there. Now I'm going to spray a white glow around everything because I'm going to go back over with red candy and all in the mouth here I'm going to spray white also. Now I'm going to take a little bit of red and go around the outside of the uh, white. Now I'm going to tack it off. Just use a tack cloth like what you use on a um, car when you're painting it. And then I got red candy. This is house color candy. I'm going to go over top of the white now. Now I got some red back in the airbrush and I'm going to use a um, texture graphic from Gerald Mendez and I'm going to go around the outside just a little bit. Just spraying through it lightly. Kind of blend this out just a little bit. Now with a little red we're going to put a little blood drop off the end of the tails. We'll add a little white on the ends of it to highlight them. Make sure that's straight up and down so I don't have the blood going at an angle. Now we'll use some white and highlight it.